Hi, I'm George. And I'm Jim. And welcome to the UAV Dude, where we're searching for 101 uses for drones. So for every episode, we'll try to come up with an awesome way for us to use our drone, from only good, not evil. So we have a bit of moth problem on our rooftop, and unfortunately, the garden hose has a bit of performance issues. So, being UAV dudes, I thought, wait, we could solve this problem with a drone, just like I could solve every problem, and attached a garden sprayer to a drone just to see how well that would work. What you don't see here is that this quad is foldable. So a bolt is used to hold the arm in its extended position. The bolt is held by a wing nut instead of a normal nut so that you don't need a tool to assemble the craft when you're on the field. With this design, the cable tie is used to transmit the force from the servo arm to the release trigger of the sprayer. I did try steel wire, but that wasn't quite flexible enough for this. The servo pulls on the release trigger of the sprayer via the white cable tie. The black cable tie is used to stop her to stop the white cable tie from slipping when the servo pulls on the release trigger. To get this to work, you have to align the black cable tie in exactly the right place and as you can see, uh, the sprayer still needs to be moved closer to the servo. And to keep the sprayer from moving away from that position, I'm using another cable tie to hold it down. Remember, everything can be solved with cable ties. That's better. Cool. That is better. <laughs> All right, so I need to repump that thing because of you. So this is kind of hilariously looking thingy majig is what we're going to use to spray our roof with. And originally, I wanted to power this um, this the servo uh, from the same receive from the same battery that powers the quad, and that saves the weight. But unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work for some reason. So I've had to jerry rig another battery on and put a separate receiver, which means I need a separate person to control the sprayer. This is not the class. Probably one of the more clumsiest things I've ever built. The microphone's hitting my head. <laughs> then a, a strap system. But at this stage, it's a bit of a nothing. Sweet! Oh, oh, oh. This, is, this is interesting. How the main machine up. Cool. Taking off.
So George, I think it went quite well. Yeah, I agree. You know, that was just a really just a test platform. So I only put around half a liter of uh, fluid. Uh, uh, one liter actually. Wait, what? But yeah, I put one liter into oh, it. Oh, that's, that, that's why it was so hard to fly. You know, I almost crashed that thing. It did, but you know, it was sort of fun. Yeah, well, I we had tons left over at the end, you know. That's true, and uh, and that gives us the opportunity to spray the roof of the roof. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Uh, please remember to subscribe because we've got some awesome videos upcoming where we show you to use drones in ways you've never imagined. Alright, see ya!